hi lovelies welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across this channel you're most definitely welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back today's video we'll be talking about this in here this is cloves oil we're talking about cloves oil how to make cloves her um, the, the different types of oil the benefits and the uh, um, the benefits of benefits of cloves oil and um, what it contains. Like we all know, cloves contains, did you know, the components that helps the hair to grow out fast. It also helps to circulate and stimulate the flow of blood in the scalp. Um, helps to um, control um, scalp infections like scalp itching, um, hair lice, um, even the smell of your hair, the smell of your scalp. This particular um, cloves oil is very good and this particular oil will help you to you know give you a good smell smell of the scalp so hit the subscribe button click the subscribe button like this video share with your friends and loved ones also don't forget to click on the post notification bell so you get updated whenever i upload a new video so gloves contains anti-inflammatory properties that help to thicken the hair it also helps to strengthen the hair it can also be used to protect the hair from scalp damage like hair lice, itchiness, dandruff, dryness, weakness, and hair thinning. It also helps to promote circulation of blood in the scalp and prevent breakage. Cloves are high in contents of minerals such as potassium, iron, magnesium, calcium, and other nutrients which help to fortify the hair follicles, prevent hair loss, and also hair thinning or hair breakage. So I went ahead to pour my cloves into a mortar and I use my pistol to um, pound it or will I say match it down and the reason why I'm using my mortar is because my blender is 40 so I'll be making use of my mortar to do this I did this for some time after pounding I got to a smooth consistency that I would like to use to make my oil so this is my cloves in here i think i've pounded this for some time and this is how the texture is now so i'll go further to um pound it some more so that i will get a smooth consistency like this you can see how smooth it is now this is the consistency i want So I went ahead to pour it into my bowl with the help of my spoon and I scraped the cloves from the uh, mortar and I poured it back into my um, container. So this is all the quantity of cloves I'll be making use of or I'll be using for this oil. I will be combining two oils to make this um, cloves oil. So next, I'll be measuring my um, oils. I made use of palm kernel oil and coconut oil. So. I'll be making use of palm kernel oil Palm kernel oil is a very good oil. It's very good for the hair because it helps to promote hair growth. It helps to prevent hair loss, breakage, split ends, and all that. Also, I'll be making use of coconut oil. Coconut oil is a very moisturizing oil. It's very lightweight. I'll be adding these two oils into the um, the clothes powder in the in my bowl. And I'll use my spoon to mix it up. I wanted to infuse the oil at first, just infuse it for days, but I just changed my mind and I rushed down to my kitchen to um, use the um, double boiler method to infuse the oil so that I'll get my cloves oil immediately instead of waiting for two or three days. So the next clip is on how I went to my kitchen 
and use the double boiler um, method to infuse the oil. So I'm here in the kitchen. I quickly rushed to where I keep my pots. Brought this pan. I always use this pan. I poured water into it, about two or three cups, then placed my um, cloves oil into it. Allow it eat up some more. And I kept using my spoon to, well, I say mix the oil and the cloves together, so it will infuse in it properly. So this is it. I did this for some time then I um, remove it from heat my oil is ready so after the oil has calmed down or cooled down I'll be transferring it into my dropper bottle um, I know I was measuring the oil. I measured a uh, hundred ml. So in my dropper bottle is just about my dropper bottle is about 50 ml. So I will be transferring my oil into it. I made a very small portion. You can as well just make a large portion of um, cloves um, <coughs> of cloves oil. Do you know if you use cloves oil regularly, you'll find that that your scalp, the itchiness in your scalp, and the damp drop in your scalp will decrease. Reason why? Because it's superb when it comes to antifungi, antiseptic, and antimicrobial property. So it will help the, the flow of blood to increase in your scalp and leave your scalp hydrated. So I'll be adding my tea tree essential oil into the um, cloves oil, uh, about 5 to 10 drops or um, 5 to 7 drops of um, tea tree oil just as fragrance also to make the oil more potent um that's it for this video thank you so much for watching see you in my next video for now bye so in the next clip i'll be showing you how to apply the oil on the hair so this is me here with my wig i'll be taking this off i had to stretch my hair with my um um, thread I use thread to stretch my hair so I'll have to loosen this and I'll apply the oil all over my hair so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching see you in my next one bye bye